and Ole Kerr are the first two to go on as they come towards the first fence and they landed virtually together and there was a fall of air towards the rear. Oh no, Whiskey has fallen at the first fence. So going on towards the open ditch and it was Red Radish and Ole Kerr who dispute the lead. They show by a couple of lengths from Star Control and then on the outside is Joe Luke followed by What a Wonder and the uh, favourite tucked away on the inside family business as they make their exit from the back straight first time round and Ole Kerr leads by half a length from Red Radish length and a half to the third star control and then in line behind family business on the outside Joe Luke and between the pair is What a Wonder turn into the straight and head on towards fence number three three plane fences to take in the home straight and on the inside it's uh, Ole Kerr with Red Radish and Star Control who's pulling hard as they jump the first in the straight and there Star Control as a faller and uh, caused some problems in behind what a wonder and Joe Luke had to take uh, avoiding action but uh, they're both still on their feet as they go on towards the middle one in the straight and it'll be Red Radish who leads here jumped it safely from Ole Kerr family business has now uh, moved into third place just ahead of what a wonder and a gap then back to Joe Luke who has done no favors uh, by the fall of Star Control Meanwhile, the others have taken the fence in front of the stands and Joe Luke made a real hash of that one and uh, gets a series of reminders now after that uh, blunder and is some way adrift of the leading quartet with still two circuits to travel. The rider of uh, Star Control, Richard Hobson, now up on his feet uh, safely and walking off the course as the uh, remaining runners turn away towards the far side of the track and on towards fence number six. With Red Radish continuing to set the pace here leading by three lengths from Ole Kerr there's a gap of five to what a wonder who's moved back into third place held up then his family business in fourth and there's five lengths to Joe Luke who's gradually getting back on terms with the others as they go towards the first of four fences on the far side Red Radish by three as they come to take it Red Radish up and over safely from Ole Kerr family business moved through to share third place with what a wonder and another mistake at the back of the field from Joe Luke on towards the second on the far side with Red Radish continuing to set a good uh, strong gallop here in this uh, rain softened ground it looks as if they'll have to bypass the next fence after the fall on the first circuit of Oh No Whiskey and it'll be Red Radish who leads the field past that plain fence on the far side Ole Kerr in second then comes Family Business and what a wonder who are taking closer order and then this gap back to Joe Luke a gap of some six lengths as he trails the leading bunch as they jump the open ditch at the far end of the track. And all five have negotiated that safely. And they leave the back straight once more with Red Radish and Barry Kennery continuing to dictate terms, leading by four lengths. Ole Kerr is in second, and then there's a couple of lengths back to What a Wonder, who's being tracked closely by Family Business. No move as yet from the favorite, content to race in fourth place and a big gap has opened up once again back to Joe Luke, who's really laboring at the back of the field, has dropped some 15 lengths behind the leading group of four. And that group of four turning to the straight once more, on towards fences 10, 11, and 12, with Red Radish cutting out the running from Ole Kerr, What a Wonder, and Family Business. Slight mistake there from What a Wonder, but didn't lose a lot of ground, and still a gap of a dozen lengths or so back to Joe Luke. On towards the next in the straight, this is number 11, the three leaders of group right up, Red Ravish being joined on the inside by Ole Kerr who jumped that well and their uh, family business made a bad mistake and unseated Tony McCoy when in fourth place jumped badly to the left and unseated the rider. So we're down to just four with uh, a circuit to travel and it's Ole Kerr the new leader from What a Wonder, Red Radish who uh, forced the early pace has dropped back some six lengths away and Joe Luke continuing, he's been uh, laboring for much of the journey with uh, a number of uh, jumping errors but uh, he's only a 12 or 15 lengths off the leader and beginning to stay on as Red Radish drops back in third place Joe Luke will soon have moved into third meanwhile the front two begin their journey away into the back straight they've got seven more fences to take with Ole Kerr leading what a wonder by a length and a half Joe Luke's now within eight lengths back in third Red Radish has run his race he's dropping away as they race down the far side for the final time and uh, go on towards the first in the back straight and as they come towards it it'll be Ole Kerr with a three length lead from What a Wonder jumping the first on the far side and Ole Kerr has fallen when leading and also Joe Luke has blundered and unseated the rider so What a Wonder is left in front 
and the uh, one that was left in second barely scrambled over it red radish and is almost at a walk and a fence behind as there what a wonder very nearly refuses and has parted company with the rider managed to negotiate the fence what a wonder he's going to be quickly remounted and that has left uh, red radish now uh, coming to take that fence and a remarkable uh, achievement there from the rider of what a wonder who's got back on board and has got the partnership going again uh, chased by uh, red radish who still hasn't managed to get into the lead even though the one in front fell and Ole Kerr has been remounted a fence behind at the back of the field so once again they'll omit the second last fence in the back straight and going towards the last on the far side what a wonder who's already parted company with the rider has uh, done the same thing again at the very next fence and uh, the uh, horse that was left in the lead red radish has refused so Ole Kerr who uh, has been remounted having been leading and falling at the first fence on the far side has now been left in the lead once more and has uh, fallen there, refused and uh, has parted company with the rider and at the moment there are no horses left in the race. And Tony McCoy has uh, now got back on board family business and he's now making his way back to the uh, fence where he fell, the second fence in the straight. We still have uh, a circuit to complete. So family business coming to take this second fence in the straight. And he's jumped that safely. It was the fence at uh, which he came to grief on the previous circuit, so he's jumped that fence uh, again. He's jumped the fence in front of the stands. So he's now got a complete circuit to negotiate. And over on the far side of the track, Ole Kerr has been uh, remounted. Meanwhile, family business, with still a circuit to complete, is beginning his journey down the back straight. So heading down the far side, and it's family business going towards the first on the far side. Up and over safely. Ole Kerr has been remounted, but uh, show, showing uh, no signs of trying to complete the course. So it's just family business. Comes towards the second fence in the far straight, jumps that safely. And he goes on towards the next, which uh, this time won't be bypassed. And family business has jumped that. Ole Kerr is still uh, trotting now round towards the home straight. Meanwhile, family business jumps the open ditch at the far end of the course. And now Ole Kerr is uh, beginning to canter into the home straight. Family business is a good uh, 30 lengths behind. So we'll see whether uh, Ole Kerr does uh, try and negotiate these three fences in the straight. Remember, he's already fallen on a couple of occasions. And uh, Ole Kerr has elected not to jump the fences in the straight, so it is just family business who is uh, attempting to complete the course and will be the only finisher, provided he jumps these three fences in the straight. Jumped away to the left at the first of them. On towards the second from home. This was the fence at which he came to grief on the second circuit family business once again out to the left but jumped it safely enough so racing towards the final fence family business up and over it safely and in a quite remarkable uh, contest family business is the only one to complete the course in a race that has taken